Hello, I'm Manny McGill with the Glock Store Performance Center. Today we're going to talk about Glock barrels. In fact, I like to call this barrelology. Now, at the shows, a lot of people ask us, well, you know, I've got a Glock. What can I do to customize it? And we go through all the different parts, you know, triggers, extended controls, uh, the uh, sights, of course, people want to change, and the guide rods, of course, are, are a very popular item to change. And we always get around to barrels. People say, well, you know, I've heard that with a Glock barrel, you're not supposed to shoot lead. Is that true? And in fact, it is true. Uh, the Glock barrel has a hexagonal rifling, as opposed to a traditional, you know, lands and groove rif rifling. That uh, rifling uh, tends to become clogged up with lead. It's very difficult to clean out. So when you shoot lead bullets on there, the barrel gets coated with lead, and it's difficult to remove that. And hence, after you know thousands of rounds, it could become a smooth bore because of the lead coating. So Glock recommends that you do not shoot lead cast bullets through the barrel. That's one thing. Um, couple other reasons about changing the barrel, and let's, and let's go ahead and through that real quick. Uh, the Glock factory barrel is made as a barrel or a gun for war situations. All right, That was the original intent. When uh, Gaston Glock uh, uh, developed a gun, he developed it for the Austrian military, and it was a military gun meant to uh, be subjected to the rigors of military battle, which you know means that you're out in the field for months at a time, don't necessarily have access to cleaning kits, don't necessarily have access to clean ammo. You may be picking stuff up off the floor, uh, off the ground. It could be dirty. There's going to be dirt in the environment. Uh, you're going to shoot this thing a lot and may not be able to get it clean. So what he did is he oversized the barrel on purpose so that it would feed and function all the time. And that's very similar to, say, an AK-47. Uh, it's a, an oversized, sloppy gun in many respects, but it shoots all the time. The Glock isn't quite that sloppy, but it shoots all the time, and that's one of the claims of fame. The Glock always shoots. Because of the high tolerances, or, the, or should I say low tolerances, there's a, a wide um, uh, degree of, uh, of uh, room in which the ammo plays, and it won't necessarily clog itself up with repeated use. So that being said, that wider, tolerance exhibits less accuracy when you shoot it. Now, think about it. So here you go. You, you put the, the bullet in. Well, this is, you know, again, going to be a gross demonstration. Put the bullet into the hole, and if there's more room around it, it's going to wobble somewhat. It's not going to be held in the same place. not going to be as consistent, and consistency is accuracy. So it doesn't matter how you do it. If you do it the same way every time, that consistency, and you're able to put the, the sight on the target the way you want it to do, no matter what, or however you figure it out, however you make it happen, if you can do it consistently and know where it's going to go, that's called accuracy. All right? So if the round or the bullet starts in an inconsistent manner, no matter what you do with the sights, you're still going to have inconsistencies. Now, these are, we're talking about thousandths of an inch the difference, the things you can't really see, you know, less than a, you know, human hair or, or a human hair or something like that. So, it, you know, it's not like it's, it's a horrible thing. Uh, the Glock is going to give you five inch groups at 20 yards. Very acceptable for combat. So that being said, why would you change your barrel out? Well, the aftermarket barrels are designed with tighter tolerances. Hence, they hold the bullet tighter, more consistently. So consistency is accuracy. So the tighter it holds the bullet, the more consistent it'll be, and the more accuracy you'll have downrange. So the aftermarket precision barrels are tighter in tolerance especially in the chamber area. So let's go ahead and look at a barrel real quick. Here's a Glock factory barrel. This is a Glock 17 barrel. This is the chamber area. This is what holds the round. And this, of course, is the barrel itself. These are the barrel lugs right down here on the bottom. So when the people refer to the lug, that's basically what it is. This is the feed ramp. And all these are very important parts of this rather simple looking device. So that's the Glock factory. Now here's the Glock store double diamond barrel. Looks very much the same, right? Lugs, got your chamber area, 
the hood or shroud, and of course the barrel itself. So the Glock barrel is known to be an unsupported chamber, which means that there's a little bit of extra space in there, room. So it's not necessarily supporting the round as tight as possible, or should I say the casing, the brass casing. Let's talk about that real quick too. So reloaders don't like to load brass that's shot through a Glock barrel. Why? Well, because when you go bang, the brass expands to such a point and has a tendency in the Glock barrel to have a, a bell to the bottom. It expands, and again, these are, you know, I'm exaggerating, but it does get a little wider towards the bottom because of that unsupported chamber area. So because of that, a lot of um, reloaders, well, most reloaders who know, hate Glock brass because it's very hard to resize. So if you follow me on all that stuff, is that this unsupported chamber, while it's good for a battle situation and good for shooting all the time, and we've seen Glock barrels shoot five, ten thousand rounds without being cleaned, honestly, uh, it's bad for reloaders and it's really not the best for accuracy. Well, certainly it's going to be accurate, okay? Let's keep that in mind. It's not like it's awful. Not like it's throwing rounds all over the place. Five inches at 20 yards is okay. Anything less than 20 yards, you're getting a smaller group, right? So think about that. For self-defense, it works great. That's not the point. The point is, if you want better accuracy, you want to shoot nickels or eyeballs, well, you go to a factory or an aftermarket precision barrel. So to demonstrate that, what I want to do is um, take my calipers and uh, go ahead and turn them on here and zero them out. And you can see it's a zero point. Let's see here if I can get you to see that. Right there it is, zero, zero, zero. Um, and now uh, what I want to do is take uh, the Glock factory barrel, which I have right here, and um, go ahead and measure the chamber. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get inside here. Uh, and this won't be scientific, but it'll demonstrate the point. So what I'm getting is I'm going to try to hold this thing in the same exact spot. It's point three nine one at that point. 3915 it was, and now it's going to be, again, anybody who uses calipers, 390. Anybody who uses calipers know you can get different measurements almost every different time. But what I'm trying to do is hold the barrel with the lug straight up. So 390 is what I'm getting. 391, 390. And again, a lot of it depends how far I go into the, uh, uh, the, the uh, chamber as well. So. 0 0.390 is what I'm getting with a Glock factory barrel. Now let's take the uh, Glock store double diamond barrel, and it's basically the same uh, exact um, you know, length. It's a, it's a Glock 17 barrel, so everything's the same. I'm going to hold the lugs again straight up, make sure I'm zeroed out, come back in here, and 0 0.385, 0 0.386, let me do it again. 0.3865. Yeah, so what I'm seeing is that it's definitely smaller, 0.387. So 0 0.003, very, very, very tiny uh, inches. This chamber in the aftermarket barrel is tighter than the Glock factory barrel, and by design. Let's go ahead and measure uh, the um, uh, Barstow, and I think we'll find the same thing. Again, zero it out, holding the lugs in the same direction, trying to get this thing just, you know, trying to be as fair as possible. 0 0.388, 0 0.3875, so basically the same thing, 0 0.38875, 0 0.388. So, again, 0 0.0025 or point. 0, 0, 0.002 inches tighter than the Glock factory. And you're going to find that across the board that all the precision barrels are tighter than the Glock factory barrels. You know, the Glock factory barrels are designed that way, and um, if you're looking for better accuracy, you move yourself into a precision barrel. Now, if you want to shoot lead cast bullets, which everybody knows are less expensive than uh, full metal jacket, you know, bullets, you definitely want to get into one of the precision aftermarket barrels. The traditional lands and groove rifling is 
much more forgiving to clean out than this uh, unique hexagonal rifling that uh, Glock has, uh, 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 has developed for their gun. So that's one of the other reasons. If you're a reloader, you certainly want to not shoot a Glock barrel because the sizing the brass is, is much more difficult. And it's just another step you really have to pay attention to. Of course, you always resize your brass when you're in a progressive press or even when you're doing single loading. Everybody knows that when you shoot the bullet, the brass expands itself. So you've got to bring it back down to spec. And that's where a lot of problems happen with reloaded ammo. It only can take so many resizings. After a while, the brass gets spent and it just needs to be recycled. So uh, be aware that you know, this reloading thing is, is a big you know, way to save money on brass and save money on ammo. And um, hence, uh, if you are reloading, you certainly not want to be using a uh, Glock barrel. And you'll find that out yourself, and I'm sure your friends who reload also will know that. One of the big challenges when guys at the range are actually you know, picking up uh, brass, sometimes you don't know if it's shot from a Glock until you get it into your press and you, know, you really go, oh, that's just not sizing properly or it's just not really working the way I want it to. And then you realize, oh, it's probably a Glock. So. Uh, that's one of those things uh, that will be there. The other reason, of course, and the main reason people want a, uh, uh, an aftermarket barrel is the accuracy. You're going to get better accuracy, and that's demonstrated, again, not only by me you know, sitting here doing this, uh, uh, this uh, rudimentary measurement of the chamber area, but also by shooters who actually go out and, uh, and shoot. You'll see that you're going to get uh, tighter groups. Uh, you're going to be um, able to uh, uh, be more accurate, especially at speeds, because... You have, it's less, you know, less forgiving. It, it actually is it's more forgiving. It actually holds those down, whereas the Glock's going to be, a, you know, tend to be a little wider group. Once you start to go into the precision barrels, you're going to get tighter groups. And you're going to have a, a better accuracy, and again, it's based upon your better speeds, you're going to shoot a little, lot better, and of course, get better scores. Now, of course, the other reason uh, to uh, change out the barrel is, is 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 cosmetic. You know, the Glock barrel is black, which is okay, and that's nice. Uh, you'll notice uh, here's one of our. Um, aftermarket slides. This is the, uh, uh, the Glock Store Pyramid Cut slide. This is the GSPC slides. And um, this is a drop-on slide. These guys now, what we're doing with each one of these is we're actually machining them, we're hardening them, we bring them back, we test them to make sure that they are you know, full bulletproof and they're actually working perfectly flawlessly. And then we send them out and get them finished and they come back with this, uh, this uh, somewhat uh, uh, not really shiny, but a, a nice shiny type uh, silver finish that we, you know, I think is very attractive. So then here's uh, the uh, Glock store barrel right here. Let's go ahead and drop it in there and uh, find out which one it is. Here it is. And like I said, one of the main reasons is to be aesthetic. So then you can go with the silver on silver, which is a nice look. Or... If you have a colorized slide, here is a titanium Cerakote uh, Glock store slide, and that's kind of a nice look as well. And this is the um, uh, Ranger or Raptor Cut, excuse me, uh, GSP 19 uh, slide. So that's pretty nice. And then here's another one, uh, a uh, blue titanium. This is a uh, speed rail we call it. And this is actually a pretty neat look with the uh, silver pull, uh, pulling out here through the, uh, popping out through these uh, holes. So you can really see that there's a, uh, a cosmetic reason also to get rid of the black barrel. Now, we do make the Glock store barrels available in black as well. So here's one right here. This is a black threaded, I believe this is a, a 45 caliber uh, G20 barrel threaded. So if you're looking for a black barrel, just you know, go online and select black. Uh, we can also, if you want, colorize the barrels, and some guys have done that. We've got gold barrels, and you can do a Cerakote on there, too. Uh, not that you would necessarily want a lime green, or should I say zombie green, probably a little bit more uh, 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 politically correct now, and <laughs> more acceptable. Uh, but any color that you select from our color selection in, on our, uh, our website would be available to be applied to the barrels as well. So there's a lot of reasons to take your factory barrel, remove it from the gun, and drop in a, um, uh, a factory barrel, or excuse me, a, a, a precision barrel aftermarket. So here's a Glock 17. Again, I'll just go through the procedure real quick to uh, disassemble and drop the barrel in and drop in one of our barrels real quick. So of course, this gun is unloaded. 
and the magazine's out. I've looked in the chamber, make sure there's no bullets in there, no, no rounds on the table, and I'm going to go ahead and take this gun apart by pulling back on the slide, pull down on the slide uh, stop lever, or slide lock lever, should I say, push the slide forward, making sure to hold on to it. A lot of people, you know, have called and said, yeah, I take the slide apart, and for whatever reason, it just slid right off and bang, and if it hits that nose ring on, the, on a hard surface, it may bend that, and once that's bent, it's pretty much done. Uh, so uh, we do sell aftermarket slides because of that. <laughs> Not a lot, but we do get calls. So there's your, uh, your lower, but the upper, on the change in the barrel out, we just take the guide rod out. This is one of our store display guns. And we're going to drop our um, uh, Glock store barrel in, uh, which is right here. The double diamond barrel. And you'll see what it looks like, right like that. And here comes your guide rod again. <coughs> and here we go. Just like that. So that's a nice look too if you want to go with the uh, two-tone. So people really do uh, uh, like the, uh, uh, the different finishes sometimes and the different look. Just to um, uh, be able to dress their gun up. But the, like I said, the major cause of why people want to change a barrel is to, one, have better accuracy. So if you're looking for better accuracy and you're looking for a nice aftermarket barrel, we've got a wide selection of them. And I would suggest you take a look at this uh, uh, Glock store double diamond barrel because it is less expensive and it offers a lot of performance as the uh, barrels made in the USA. But it's your choice, really. Uh, we've got, you know, Storm Lake, we've got Barstow, uh, and we're happy to, you know, sell you whichever barrel you want. Uh, the bottom line is, is, you know, we want you to be happy, and that's why we went ahead and got this uh, double diamond brand together and we we're offering it at a lower price because I believe that it's, uh, it's something that, you know, we, we got the savings from the direct from the manufacturer and I want to pass it on to you. So thanks for watching. This is uh, the Glock Store Performance Center, the double diamond brand Glock Store Barrel. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.